this After Effects tutorial, I'll show you some crazy things you can do with the time displacement effect. Hi guys, my name is Manuel. Some quick basics first. The time displacement effect shifts pixels across time. Therefore, it uses a displacement map, a grayscale solid from which it takes the luminance. A luminance value of 255, in other words, white, produces a maximum positive displacement. In this case, one second, which means it moves one second to the left in the timeline. A luminance of 128, or 50% gray, means no displacement. And black, which is zero luminance, produces a maximum negative displacement, which means everything in this area happens one second later. So, let's check it out in action. We create a displacement map first, by adding a new solid. Let's name it Map. And then by adding a gradient ramp. We use the Effects and Presets window to find it. Let's switch the colors so white is on top. Next, we create a new comp. Let's name it Tile. The size this time, 270 by 90 pixels. Let's zoom in here a little. We grab the Title tool and add some text. I simply add Time for now. The font I use is Biosounds Bold, which is available on Adobe Fonts. We align it to the center using the alignment tool. We add an opacity animator. Set the opacity to zero. Then we animate the start property. At one second, we set a keyframe. Then at two seconds, we set it to 100%. We quickly open the graph editor and slow down the end of the animation. Awesome! We add the comp to our main comp. Then add CC Rapid Tile to the tile. We expand in all directions to fill the whole screen. Let's position it. Alright, just like we animated it. Let's add an adjustment layer and finally add time displacement. We choose the map as time displacement layer, of course. Effects and masks. We set the max displacement time to 1 second and the time resolution to 24. Time resolution sets the number of frames per second in which to replace pixels, so probably at least the resolution your comp has, or more to make the animation smoother and the columns are animated smoothly from top to bottom. Why smoothly? Because of the gradient. Remember, we animated the comp at one second, which starts right at the beginning now, because white means it starts one second earlier. Almost, because it's almost white. Let's say we want to animate it line by line. Therefore, we add mosaic to the displacement map. Set horizontal blocks to one, vertical blocks to 12, which is one block per line. I figured the numbers out before, <laughs> nerdy me and the text appears line by line. Let's hide the displacement map. Next, let's move the white star end of ramp to the top left corner, the black end of ramp to the bottom right corner. We don't see anything yet, so let's set horizontal blocks to seven, which is one column per title. And we hide the displacement map, of course. Let's check it out. Awesome. So the animation starts in the top left corner and ends in the opposite corner. And if you change the max displacement time to minus one, the direction is inverted by the way. So this is a great technique to animate repetitive text. Before moving on, let's take a quick moment and check out an awesome animation course by Domestica. In this course, you learn how to create motion graphics, especially for social media. Express yourself online by creating animated stickers and GIFs. The process involves illustration and animation, from concept and sketch to animation in After Effects. And finally, just as important, publishing your GIFs. I've added the link to the course in the description. And even better, use the code MANUALDESMOTION10 for an extra 10% off. So let's try something else. We create a new square tile, 120 by 120 pixels this time. Double click on the ellipse tool to create a new round shape. Let's change the fill color to white. We set the size to 50 pixels at one second. We set a keyframe, of course. Then, 12 frames later, we shrink it to 10 pixels. Again, we quickly slow down the end of the animation using the graph editor. We quickly fade it in. 
set the opacity to zero at one second, then to 100% three frames later. Awesome, a quick and simple animation. Then we quickly duplicate the text comp, rename it into grid. Open it and replace the tile comp with the new tile2 comp. In Mosaic, we set horizontal blocks to 16 and vertical blocks to 9. We position the tile so that each dot is in the center of a square. And just like that, we animate. Let's set the maximum time displacement back to 1. We animated the grid. But maybe that's too linear. Boring. So let's add turbulent noise. You could also use fractal noise. Below the gradient ramp. Set the blending mode to multiply to blend it with the gradient. And let's see what we're doing here. We set the contrast to around 800. In transform, we double the scale to 200. And just like that, the animation is much more random. Let's hide the displacement map. So let's quickly copy the turbulent displace effect, go back to our text animation and add the effect there, to the displacement map. Awesome, much more random. We need to set the displacement time back to one, but you get the idea, right? Let's make a transition. We duplicate the tile2 comp, delete the shape, Double click on the rectangle tool to add a square. And in one second, we open the fill property and set a fill color keyframe. One frame later, we change the color to pink. We duplicate the grid comp, rename it, transition. Just like before, we open it and replace the tile comp. And just like that, we got a transition from one color to another. I know you're here for the crazy stuff, so let's do it. We add a new comp, name it, whatever, crazy stuff. We copy the map layer from before and paste it to the new comp. Delete <laughs> would be great to see stuff. We delete mosaic. Set noise type and turbulent noise to block. In transform, we deselect uniform scaling. Set the scale width to 400. The scale height to 2000. Then let's add a new shape. With no layer selected, we double click on the rectangle tool to create it. We set the path size to 2500 by 2500 pixels. Next, we add a wiggle expression to the position property. Wiggle and 6,200 in parentheses, which means 6 times per second, the position wiggles 200 pixels in the x and y direction. Then we add the same expression to the scale property. Wiggle and this time 6,50. In parentheses. Finally, to the rotation property. Wiggle at 6,360 in parentheses. Alright, not that exciting yet. Let's open the field property and add a wiggle expression to the color property. Wiggle and 100,100 in parentheses. Awesome, kind of flashy. Once again, we add time displacement. Choose the map layer, effects and masks. Max displacement time, one second. Time resolution, 24, should be enough. Then we add posterized time. Set the frame rate to 12. Finally, we add CC white time. Add 20 forward and backward steps. And we created this very unique, crazy abstract background. Make sure to check out the links in the description. On the left side, I've added some videos you might like. Subscribe to my channel on the right side and hit the bell, cause you don't want to miss my next video. Thanks for watching this one. See you in the next one. Bye guys.